is a golf with an ABS problem on the left hand front. What I've done is taken a way of testing it from Dave Stirl, and I'm using the same idea here. So I've disconnected the car, and I've got one wire going through a test light. And in parallel to the test light, I've also got a 200 ohm resistor going across it. So that's in parallel, so basically it's going across that wire. It just It's not very tidy the way I've got it wired in, but that's all it's doing, parallel to this. So then it goes to the battery, and then the wire that comes out, the, the sensor of the other wire is going to the negative. With a socket on the drive shaft, I can turn the, the wheel slowly, and I can watch the LED going in and out. See that? I don't know if you can see it there. I'll, I'll come down here so you can see it better, right? On, off, on, off. Actually, it doesn't look that bright on here, but it looks bright. It looks brighter in real life. But you can clearly see it going on and off. I'm not sure how good that battery is. I better check that. And you can look for it. You can look for a bit that's not working, but in this case, it looks like the tone ring and the sensor are okay because that's flashing away fine when I rotate this. Although it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look it on the camera, but it is. Anyway, I found it very useful in this case, so I know the problem. I've got to look at the wires. Now I'm going to check the wires here using different wires. I'm checking the car's wiring. Went into a voltmeter. With the ignition on, I've only got 0 0.7, 0 0.9. You can't see it, can you? 0 0.7. Not much of a volt there. Wasn't enough voltage when I was in the front of there. So I'm doing the same test again. This time I'm in the back of there. Two back probing pins. And they're going into the voltmeter. I'll put the ignition on again. You can't see it, so I'll just go a bit closer. 11.1. So we know the fault here is right at the connector itself, and everything else should be okay. Let's see if I can fix that connector up. Now I found this plug in my toolbox. It's off a brake pad wear indicator wire. The wires are quite thin on the ABS as well, so I'm going to try it. I've got nothing to lose since it's already corroded. I'll put this one in and see if it works. So I've put two heat shrink connectors on. Now I'm going to put some heat shrink at the sleeve of heat shrink and slide it down. It's up here. And see if it's any better. That's the next coat of heat shrink put on there. Now I can slide the rubber boot down. And I'll test it at the front of the pins again. That's the cover back on there. I'm using the correct pins in there from a kit, so I'm not damaging the, the pins, the terminals that are in there. Put the ignition on and I've got the same voltage that I had when I was back probing there, in here earlier on. So it looks like this uh, Looks like it's going to be a success, so I'll plug it in and see how it goes. I haven't reset the ABS fault code yet, but the light's gone out already. There's no ABS light or traction control light on up there. I'm just going to make sure the fault code's been cleared before it goes out. Make sure it's okay after the road test. That's the code has been cleared. No codes. It's flashing up there, that's just because I'm plugged in. So when I come out of this, that should go out.
It has. 